Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome once again to another stream of Watching Chickies, now on day 12. And we see these little chicks grow up before our eyes. Yes, we do. I hope you all are having great days, because these little chicks are still doing quite well. Aren't you, Braveheart? Yes, you are. <clears throat> oh, hello there, Kagome. Oh, and Stormy, doing quite well there in the corner. Just checking everything out. Oh my. Oh yes, and we are going to be weighing them later. And hello, Booty for Games YT and 512 Ounce. Lovely little peeps. And I might want to, uh, just in case, set up my computer a bit later. Hello, weirdest man as well. I hope all of you are doing well. Ah, uh, hello again, February monster. Oh yes, booty for games, YT. You are very generous, and I don't want you to go broke either. And I think in the future, um, for streams, four hours was a bit much for my voice. Um, I think maximum that I, I'll ever really want to go is about uh, three hours a stream, which is quite... Ooh, ooh, Kagome, do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Come here then, Kagome. You don't need to go on top of Braveheart. <gasps> ooh, right onto my hand. Lovely, Kagome. Lovely. Want to say hi to everyone? Ah. <gasps> Ooh, a little flap high. A little flap high. Oh my, you are so big. Look at those feathers on your back that are coming in. You are glorious, Kagome. Oh my, oh my. Yes? Yes? <gasps> what is that, huh? Lovely. Oh, I know you want to stay with me. I know you want to stay with me. But I need to see the others as well. I need to see the others as well. I know you want to stay with Dad. Okay, fine, fine. Bit off. There we go. Oh, the other two are just eating. Hello there, Stormy. Hello there, Braveheart. You're having a nice meal. And Kagome, well... You just want to explore. Oh, look at all these new little feathers on you. If you would just stay still a second. Brilliant. <clears throat> ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me see. Let me see. Each day... These guys are just getting a little bit bigger. It is amazing. I think, Kagome, you're officially probably twice the size you were when you came out of that egg. Yeah, you are. You're way too big to be in an egg now. Little chicken sneeze. Lovely, lovely. So guys, if I was interested in giving myself a day or two off per week for these streams, what days do you think I could safely take a day or two off? 
Would you guys really love me being on the air for the weekends? And just, like, missing just maybe a day or two in the middle of the week? Oh. What are you doing? Are you trying to make... I know you want to come back up, Kagome. I know. I know. It was stormy. You did some creaming there to Kagome. Lovely. Yes, Kagome? Go eat now. Go eat. I'll play with you in a little bit. Oh, well, thank you, Skinny. I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream. Oh, Stormy, you just like preening everybody. <coughs> yeah, Wednesday's off. That might work. I think just a single day off a week would definitely help with just a little bit of organization, getting all the YouTube stuff set up, and just sort of working out a little new schedule. I might then just be posting a short little video on that day, just sort of a, as a little recap of what's going on with these guys. So no one really misses anything for that day. Right there, Braveheart. Right. Yes. Oh, soon you guys are going to be going outside. Oh, yes, February Monster. This has definitely become a much larger endeavor than I ever imagined, but it has been a fun ride so far. Hasn't it, guys? And each day, we get just a little snippet of uh, your guys' lives. Glad for it because I'll be able to look at this footage for years in the future. Go, go, May. Go, go, May. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you go. I know you want to go on one one finger, but your balance is still not perfect. It isn't. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my, Kagome. So vocal. You are. Now, Kagome had her own little party last night, where you made quite a mess in the water dish, didn't you? You were just getting water everywhere. You had to put away a bunch of wet sand so it wouldn't be a danger to all your little chicky feet. But that's all right. That's all right, Kagome. You like to party, and you like to party hard. Oh my, oh my. Oh, 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 how about you go to my leg if you want to do that? Hmm? Much better than my arm. What, you like my arm? Are you trying to get up to my shoulder? Like a brave heart. See, that's a freckle. That is not food. Freckles are not food. Well, I think you just learned that now. Well, am I your perch? Am I your perch, Kagome? You keep looking underneath my arm. There's nothing underneath my arm. Oh my! Oh my. Are you showing me your tail feather? Oh wow! Your tail feathers have actually grown quite a bit. Take a look at this, you guys. Look at that little speckled pattern on them. Now, I'm not sure, but the way that it's sort of spread out for an Onogadori, I don't know, it's kind of reminiscent of a hen to me. Are you going to be a hen, Kagome? Are you going to be a hen? Oh, that would be lovely. Wow, this has been a nice, relaxing stream so far. And for those of you who are just checking in that haven't been to one of our streams before, um, this is just watching chickies. 
we're watching the lives of uh, three of our chickens. Uh, they are now 12 days old. Uh, this is Kagome, our Onagadori chick. Yes, <clears throat> you're an Onagadori, which is an endangered breed from Japan. And down there, we have our little gray Silky, named Stormy. And with their head right in the food dish is our Ayam Samani, named Braveheart. Ah, well, we will be weighing them in a little bit. So hopefully, uh, Stormy has continued to gain some weight. And uh, all of them are continuing to grow. Though with Kagome, ooh, I'm guessing Kagome's probably gained a good four grams. Ooh! Kagome, that was an excellent flight there. Right from my knee. You couldn't have managed that yesterday. I mean, maybe from over there, but not from over here. My, my, my. They are all getting so much more active as time goes on. Hi, Booty for Game YT. How, how's it going with you today? Oh, Kagome says hi. With a few tap, tap, taps. Well, I hope whatever you were doing turns out quite well. You guys are just so hungry right now, and all Kagome wants to do is stalk around. You thirsty there, Stormy? Yeah? Need a little bit of water? Oh, booty for games YT. A platinum for, for stream is more than enough. You don't need to give any. It's just enough that you're having a bit of fun and enjoying yourself. Oh my, you don't need to chase each other off. Is this a little game between you two? Oh, yes, and for uh, those of you who were interested yesterday, I think I corrected uh, to the right link for uh, my Patreon um, in my profile. So if anyone is interested in uh, doing that in lieu of awards or anything, we can uh, just use a little bit of money from that to maybe try to get a few more little things for the chickies or, you know, anything like that. And uh, in the coming days, I will be um, adding um, the uh, YouTube channel there as we are downloading videos and making sure they're um, good enough quality to be loading up onto YouTube. Hello. Hello. Hello, Derek. Doxed OD32. I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I am looking at possibly getting them um, some little toys. Um especially for these six weeks that they're in here with us. Um, I really, um, I think I'm going to be trying to head to my parents' house uh, sometime soon and trying to see if maybe there's some old doll furniture my sister might have had or something, like little ladders and stuff that might be interesting to little chicks. So I'm here. So I could see about adding that sort of stuff, and ooh, that was such a little dash there, Stormy. That was such a little dash. And of course, if I'm going to add anything for you guys, I want to make sure that it is safe for you. Because we never want you guys to get hurt. No, we don't. 
Oh, thank you, Booty for Games YT. I will definitely take a look at my Patreon next. Um, I think if I try to look at it in my phone right now, I might disturb the stream. So I shall check after the stream. But, um, in advance, um, thank you very much. And, um, I shall give you more thanks, probably, uh, with tomorrow's stream. A little bit of drinking from Kagome, as the honors keep on their feast. Lovely, lovely. Oh, yes, you guys are doing so well. Yes. Of course, you do like making a mess, but that's all right. That's part of being young. Isn't it, guys? And at 12 days old, you're still youngins to me. Two more days and you are two weeks old. How did that happen? How did that happen, guys? Oh, hello there, Stormy. Hello. Yeah? Oh, going for more water? That's okay. Can chickens drink carbonated drinks? I have no idea. I'd probably have to do a bit of research, but you wouldn't generally want your chicks to have something with, with added sugar content like that. You don't want them to get too much sugar because they could get a little bit sick from that. But you know, it is quite possible that something like a seltzer water might be possible for them to drink, but I'm not sure if it would be a good idea because I think the seltzer could possibly um, leach some calcium from their bones. But they're not producing eggs right now, so it might not be as big a danger. But you know, I can always do research. Ooh, Kagome. Oh, hello, Stormy. Such beautiful little feet you have. Oh, thank you, Booty for Games, for the Take My Power Award. And here is Stormy, our little silky. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't know how it's possible, but I think Stormy's feet are getting fuzzier each day. Why are you growing so many more feathers for your feet, Stormy? Why so many more new feet feathers? Is that important for a silky? Looking as stylish as possible? Well, you are quite a stylish little chick. Yeah? There you go, my little Stormy. There. Even your neck has gotten longer. Yes. Soon you shall be a slightly bigger burb. See, Stormy? Derek Doxed OD32 thinks that you are so cute. Ooh, and a little chicken yawn there. Little chicken yawns. And look at these new little wing feathers that you have. But all of them are just cottony soft. Unlike your siblings. You will just be forever a soft little floofball. You will. You will. Oh, well, thank you, that person 10101. Stormy is definitely a very cute chick. Yep, uh, this is a silky chick, and silky is the breed. They tend to be um, a bit on the smaller side for chickens, and uh, generally their breed tends to be quite friendly, especially when hand-raised, to uh, humans. And they tend to be very warm and affectionate little, little brooders for when uh, you want them to raise chicks. So in the future, if we have any little chickies, Stormy 
might make an impeccable little mom. Yeah, I know that's hard to consider right now when you're just 12 days old. But in six months or so, who knows, Stormy? Who knows? Oh, Booty for Games YT, thank you for the super heart eyes. And uh, Dife202, uh, uh, Stormy, um, you know, might already have a sister in the form of Kagome or Braveheart. Yeah, you are a little storm cloud already with all of the gray. Lauren's little sister definitely named you the... Oh, oh, chicken sneeze. Chicken sneeze. But yes, Lauren's little sister definitely gave you the right name. Yes, our little storm cloud. Showering us with your little love. Yes, yes, yes. And you have just sunk into yourself to make the perfect little cotton ball there. Lovely. A little peep squad. Oh my, February monster, you will eventually catch a chicken sneeze. Yeah, I never realized that chickens, before I got these guys, could actually sneeze at all. Ah, that's an interesting guess, weirdest man. Kagome a girl, Stormy a boy, and Braveheart a boy. Um, at the moment, my prediction is that um, Kagome might be a girl, Stormy might be a girl, and Braveheart is the is the boy. And El Katata Fish, thank you for the silver. It's appreciated. Oh, what's that, Stormy? Yeah? Are you talking to the others? Oh, you are talking to the others. You're looking over. What are they doing? What are they doing? Are they looking for you? Are they looking for you, Stormy? I think Braveheart might be. Oh dear. Braveheart's like, where is my Stormy? Do you want to go to Braveheart, Stormy? Yeah? Yeah, little peeps? Non-committal? Well, let's go see Stormy, huh? Let's go see Stormy. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, 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 there you go. You did a flying jump there, Stormy. But now you're with everyone. They're happy to see you. Ah, well, Kagome would be spelled like this. Oh, booty for games, YT. Thank you for the gold. Oh, lovely. Yes, you're all checking up. Yes, everyone's all right. Oh, no worries, weirdest man. Oh dear, a little bit of flapping. Hey, Braveheart, we haven't had a chance to play today. How about you come up? How about you come up? Here we go. There we go. Say hi to everyone. Say hi. Yes, we do not want Booty for Games to go broke over our streams. That would be unfortunate. Oh, Braveheart, your tail feathers have grown quite a bit overnight. Amazing. How does it feel to have such big feathers just come out of your body like that? Oh, jeez. I'm not sure if I would like it if my hair grew that much overnight. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, let's look at that little comb on your head. You see, that's part of the reason why I think Braveheart is actually possibly a rooster. 
because Braveheart is getting this little comb. Braveheart's a little bit bigger than everybody else. And, um, well, Braveheart has that sort of adventurous attitude. So I'm getting real rooster energy off of Braveheart. And Booty for Games YT, we do appreciate your support here. And I'm so glad that these little chicks have brought some joy into your life. And I did join that subreddit as well. Lovely. Here. Do you want to take a nap? Or are you trying to be shoulder chicken again? <gasps> oh dear. I think you're trying to be shoulder chicken. All right, weirdest man. Well, we're glad that you have joined us for today. It's always nice to see friends again. Yes, that's right, Braveheart. And you live with your friends. Yeah, come here. Oh no, this is our Ayam Samani chicken. 12 days old and already jumping all over the place, including the arm of this chair. You are so adventurous. You are so adventurous, but you're slipping. Okay. Be careful. I don't want to have to retrieve you from the ground. Oh dear. But you managed it. Yes, you can see Lauren's knitting bag over there. Oh my. Oh my. Here's my arm. There's my arm. Do you want my arm? No. There's my shoulder. Huh? Yeah? What's going through your head, Braveheart? What's going through your head? Well, Dad's shoulder is there. I'm prepping for a jump. Oh, don't prep for a jump. No, no. Oh! And Braveheart is on my shoulder. Lovely. And looking right at the camera. All right, let's see how the others are doing. As Braveheart has become a shoulder chicken. Oh, a bit of snuggles there in the corner. So, um, C1345. Oh, we have three different breeds of chickens. Uh, in the corner, the striped one is our Onagadori chick which is an endangered breed from Japan. Um, oh, yes, 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 Braveheart. It's fine. Braveheart is currently pecking at my glasses. Uh, the gray one is our silky chick named Stormy. And on my shoulder is um, ooh, our Ayam Samani named Braveheart, who currently is trying to tell that his dad Secrets with little, little chirps. Yes? Yes, I know I have weird ears. Well, it's hard for my ears not to be weird compared to yours, because you don't have any. You don't have any. I know. Come here. Come here. No more shoulder chicken right now. Lovely. Lovely. There you go. Oh, yes, and these baby chicks, well, they're 12 days old, so maybe not exactly babies, but they're growing each day. And in fact, in just a little bit, um, we will be doing a little bit of a weigh-in for these baby chicks, and that should be exciting. Ooh, ooh, another jump, Braveheart. So lovely. So, um, for those of you who were checking in yesterday, um, since about day nine, yep, yeah, uh, right here is Braveheart, our black Ayam Samani. And uh, since about day nine, we have actually been weighing our baby chicks um, in grams. And we are going to be weighing them in a little bit. Oh, well, chickens are 
quite fascinating and lovely animals, especially because how they've just been kind of growing up alongside humanity. Sort of like dogs, because through all of this domestication, um, all of these new breeds have emerged, and they're really quite fascinating. I'm in CT1345. Um, I don't really focus on, um, you know, my face or appearance. I really just like to focus on the baby birds. Um, in general, you know, I'm fine with being part of the background, part of being just like this omniscient narrator. And I think that's fine. Um, in my day-to-day -day life, before the uh, quarantines and the pandemic, I was actually a background actor. So you can you can sort of say being part of the background is just um, part of my life, and I'm kind of comfortable with it. Well, thank you, Slime SSS. Compliments are always appreciated. And no, uh, Doni Zerdon, these guys are not going to be, uh, food. These guys are going to be friends and family for life. And hopefully every once in a while, they'll donate an egg or two. Oh no, C1345, I assure you that I have no, uh, criminal record here on the planet Earth. Whether or not I might have a record on other planets is, well, my own business. And we shall not delve into those depths. Oh, on the floor is our little scale in which we will be weighing the chicks a bit later. Because we want to make sure that these guys are growing safe and sound. Oh my, I met, might have let a too, too much out there. Well, no worries, no worries. All right, well, Kagome, you seem to just be fussing about with your feathers, so I think we could safely weigh you now. Oh, the bedding. What do we put on the bedding? Uh, sand. Um, sand, um, is, uh, we use clean sand for the bedding. Um, I always suggest, uh, never using calcium sand, because that can stunt your chick's growth, and they can, uh, eat it. And, um, always make sure, uh, that your sand doesn't really have, uh, dust content in it. Um, but, you know, it makes cleaning a lot easier, and it makes the smells almost non-existent. But um, never, ever uh, use uh, cat litter for your uh, chicks, because uh, they can eat that, it can expand in their stomachs, and it could possibly kill them. So always avoid cat litter. Oh, well, Stormy already woke you up. Here, here, Kagome. We... Ooh, garden mud. Well, that must be interesting. Hopefully it doesn't get too wet on the little chick's feet, because I know uh, we try to keep their feet dry at all times, to keep them free of any sort of medical conditions. Oh, I have accepted defeat for the grapes, but I love that um, Stormy does like the yogurt. Well, if I had to pick about breaking my leg or arm, I think I would probably more prefer one of my arms to be broken. Um, one year, I had a catastrophic knee injury and basically had to use crutches and a, um, a cane for about a year to move around, so I know how much it sucks not having access to one of your legs. Uh, no, I've never actually taken any professional voice acting uh, classes. 
This is just sort of like my natural, yeah. calm voice as I talk. Oh yes, I love to read. In fact, I like to write um, as well. Um, I'm, unpub I'm unpublished, but uh, I have written a few novel manuscripts, and I do like to make myself write every day. Uh, for almost a year now, I have written a short story a day. Lovely. Now, Kagome, we are going to go and try and weigh you. Yes, we are. Yes, well, one of the things that we're going to be adding to the YouTube channel um, within the next coming days, um, I probably will be reading uh, public domain short stories for um, ASMR purposes. Here we go, Kagome. Here we go. Oh dear. I think I put my uh, pinky in the wrong place. Ooh, Kagome. Yes, you're on my finger. You're on my finger. It's fine. Here. Here we go. Now let's try to weigh you. Let's try to weigh you. You've been on there before. Ooh, lovely. Wow, Kagome. You are 60 grams. Well, goodbye, Weeders Man. I hope that you have a lovely day. And Kagome is now officially 60 grams. Come here, Kagome. Come here. No floor adventures for you. No floor adventures for you. Yes, occasionally I might sneak in one of my own short stories that way. I would be giving away first publication rights in that case, but you know, I already have a few hundred short stories that haven't been published, so that's fine. So, Kagome is now... ...60 grams, here on day 12. Lovely. Stormy is going to be 49 to 52. That's uh, Booty for Games YT's bet. Um... Yes, uh, Slimes, I do write daily. Um, for almost a year now, I've written a, a single short story a day. I'm at like uh, 343 short stories. And let's see. Yesterday, Stormy was at 48 grams. So let's see what Stormy might be today. Uh, short stories. Um, I write um, anywhere from a thousand to six thousand words uh, short stories each day. So anywhere from flash fiction to more traditional sized uh, short stories. 52, wow, all right. Hey Stormy. Stormy, are you ready for your weigh-in? Are you ready for your weigh-in? Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get into Dad's hand. Don't back up too much. Don't back up too much. I know. I know. Let's see. Let's see, Stormy. You've been here before. There you go. Oh, oh dear. Daddy made a mistake and did not actually turn it on before you've plooped down. So... I know. I know, I know. Here you go. Oh my, Stormy. 52 grams. That's a good increase. Lovely. Uh, Braveheart was 59 grams yesterday. But Stormy, that is a lovely... Little increase. Yes, I know. I know. You don't like being weighed. You don't like being weighed. Here you go. I know. I know. But Dad just wants to make sure that you're eating enough, okay? Okay? 
but you are eating enough. You did really well. You did really well. And that's because, Stormy, you ate all of your treats yesterday. You did. You did. You ate your yogurt, and you're getting big and strong. Big and strong. All right, so what's everybody's guesses today for Braveheart? For the past two days, well, the past three days, Braveheart went from 51 grams to 55 grams and then to 59 grams. So Braveheart seems to be going up four grams a day. Oh, I remember when the stream kind of uh, peaked at one point, and then uh, there was a little bit of a crash. Yes, there was. 64 grams is the guess. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Are you going to be 64 grams today, Braveheart? Oh, and Booty for Games YT is hedging their bets at 63 to 65. And Derek Doxed, OD32, thinks 65 as well. Well, you are just eating a bunch more right before weigh-in, aren't you? Are you trying to tip the scales there, Braveheart? Braveheart! Braveheart! Wow, Braveheart isn't even looking. You are so content. You are so content just to eat right now. Braveheart, it's time for your weigh-in. Well, I'll let you eat for just a bit longer. The others are just... Kind of napping here in the corner. Oh, if you have time for scratching, you have time for a way in. Come here, Braveheart. Come here. Come to that. And I'm going to make sure that this is on. All right, Braveheart. Ooh, 61, 62. Hmm. You haven't eaten much today. Uh, well, hopefully by tomorrow we have our YouTube channel up and I will give a shout out when it goes up, but only 61. Oh my, Braveheart. Huh. You did not eat nearly as much. You only went up two grams. Why aren't you eating? That was it. What are you doing? You don't need to say, to stay svelte there. Kagome is almost bigger than you. Kagome of all chickens. Go. Go eat. Go eat, Braveheart. Go eat. I'm sorry. Eat your fill. Yeah. Yeah, I would not have guessed that... Braveheart only went up by two grams. Oh, dear. Well, at least Braveheart's weight did go up. Ah, well, hello there in Canada. Derek Doxed, OD32. I hope you're doing well there. Well, these little birds uh, are 12 days old, and right now they're in a place where they have uh, heat lamps, a UV lamp, and um, we're just monitoring their condition. Um, so they're just sort of happy and healthy. Um, outside is a little bit too cold for them at the moment. But um, once they get to be about six weeks old, we will be transitioning Transi uh, transitioning them to their coop. But until then, now we get to have a little fun with them inside. And make sure that these birds stay happy and healthy. Yes, yes, yes we will, guys. Yeah, I mean, it's the summer here. But, um, like outside here in Connecticut today, it's in the, um, and on all of these temperatures are Fahrenheit, by the way, 
uh, it's in the 70s today. And here um, in week two, um, inside the top, uh, we are keeping it to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, so they won't be ready for sort of like 70 degree weather for a few more weeks. Um, their mothers would most likely be in California. Um, they were um, hatched from a place called Feather Lover Farms, and they were overnighted to us all the way over here to Connecticut uh, 12 days ago now. Yes, Kagome, yes, I hear you. I hear you, Kagome. Ooh! You love balancing on one finger. You don't like it when Daddy holds you the way he used to. But you do like it when I give you a little bit of a stroke like this. Yeah? A bit more calm now? Yep, um, people have been uh, getting baby chicks through the mail in the United States for about uh, 90 years now. Ooh, a little flutter. A little flutter. Oh dear. Well, Booty for Games YT, thank you for the Narl Walls salute. Yes, I might be doing a few ASMR videos in the future on the YouTube channel when we launch. Oh dear, oh dear. You're on your side. You're such a silly little chick. You could fall that way. Well, uh, chickens, like these breeds, are domesticated animals, and they don't actually really uh, live in the wild, per se. They have been bred to be domesticated, to be with humans, and um, you shouldn't really make it a habit to uh, release domesticated animals into the wild because um, they'll die, which is, which can be pretty bad for them and is not a happy thing. And that was another little poop there from Kagome, but that's fine. Everything poops, including baby chicks. And are you planning another jump back into your little living area? Are you planning another little jump? Oh, I see it. You can be brave, Kagome. I believe in you. We all do. Ooh! Lovely there, Kagome. Lovely. Ooh, button quail chicks. Wow, those sound like an absolute delight. But at the moment, uh, we have our hands full with these three little baby chicks. And we'll see how things go as they grow, develop, and become full-grown chicks. Booty for Games YT. Thank you for the gold and... Oh! Hey, guess what? There was a stealth poop. Great. Kagome, you are an awesome stealth pooper. Oh my, oh my, good thing that I always have cleaning supplies next to me when I do these videos. Yes, Kagome did answer the call. So, um, I, um, live with my long-term partner, Lauren, and, um, we are, uh, not married at the moment. Eventually, we will get married. Um, we were planning on finally, uh, getting hitched, uh, sometime towards September, but, um, you know, 
everything with the quarantine got in the way and we'd rather have lots of family uh, with us. So we might push that off another year. But you know, we've been living together for, uh, oh wow, six years now. So I think it's safe to say, um, you know, we're sort of lifelong partners at this point. And together we make two great adoptive chicken parents for these guys. Kagome, I just let you out. I just let you out. We'll play again in a bit, okay? And thank you for the compliment, slime mess. Yes, Lauren likes to call herself the chicken mama. And well, apparently I'm chicken daddy now. I never expected to be called that, but you know. Um, Palmer, uh, Siagna, um, they are three different breeds. The striped one is the Onagodori chicken breed, which is an endangered breed from Japan. The uh, black one is an Ayam Samani, which is a uh, Southeast Asian chicken breed. And uh, we call this one Braveheart. And just kind of chilling in the corner, being a sleepy little chick, is our gray silky named Stormy. And all of them are chickens. Lovely, lovely little chickens. Yes, yes, yes. Gentle, contented peeps. Oh my, that would be so awful for someone to use my voice like that. Oh no. But I do like to keep my voice just calm and soothing for the baby chicks. And I think they respond to it. Yes, Stormy, you have a lot of admirers. Yes, you do. Our little... Fluffy storm cloud. Yes. Little contented peeps. Oh dear, are you fighting off sleep? You don't need to fight it. Just take a little nap. Oh yes, I'd love to do a little bit of voice work in the future. That would be lovely. I'm always up for stuff like that. Yes, Stormy. Looks to be a little bit sleepy there in the corner. Just fighting off sleep, but, you know, looking up at us with some interest. Oh, yeah, rest your head, Stormy. It's okay. It's always a good time for a nap. And you know what, Stormy? You proved yourself yesterday because, oh my, you gained so much weight. You did. Four grams in a day. Amazing. Amazing. It must have been all that yogurt that you scarfed down. Big and strong. Big and strong. And today, hopefully, Braveheart eats a little bit more than yesterday. Well, that could be part of it. Uh, Palmer Siakna. That could be part of it. Oh, that's all right, February monster. A little nap in midday or any time of the day can be a good thing. Oh, I can't imagine someone with my voice working at a racetrack. I thought you need to have a little more, a little bit more energy to your voice. I would do an impression, but I wouldn't want to disturb. Stormy sleep there. Oh yes, they are still such small, lovely birds. They have grown quite a bit though. I think some of them are at least double the size they were. Ooh, ooh, a little stretch from Stormy. 
a little stretch, followed by a little bit of water, yum, 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 a little beakful, and head back, yum, yum, yum. Yes, yes, yes. A little nap, followed by a little water, can be a lovely thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys. Oh, yes? Ooh, was that a chicken sneeze from Kagome? Lovely. And yes, for any of you who are just watching, chickens can, in fact, sneeze. Which I found so amazing the first time it happened. Yes, I did. Yes, I am fine with being the Bob Ross of chickens. I can see that that can be quite a lovely thing to bring a little bit of happiness into other people's lives and just to watch these baby chicks go about theirs. Oh, I can't imagine any little hats would fit on them for very long, but in the future, maybe I'll try just for a picture. Maybe some before and after, because they will probably immediately just throw them right off. Yes, especially you, Braveheart. <gasps> Braveheart wants to see Dad. Okay. Okay, Braveheart. I will always respond to Braveheart wanting to see Dad. There you go. Oh, thank you for the platinum again, Booty for Games YT. And yes, it's nice to be able to watch these guys and have a productive day. A little bit of lovely, soothing background noise for your day. So guys, I'm just going to make a check with you just to make sure my phone is right. Um, it says on my phone that I have... Ten and a half minutes left for this broadcast. Is that correct? Oh yes, gentle peeps. Gentle peeps. There we go. No, it's not correct. All right. Well, in that case, I am going to have to break out my computer just so I can keep track of the actual correct time. Okay, Braveheart, I know. We're just, I'm going to pick you up in a sec. I need to grab the computer, so I want to make sure you're safe. So, just a quick walk over to the computer. Hello, George. And let's set this up so I can see the correct time. Yes. Yeah, it's so interesting in these streams that we have discovered sort of like this little bug that's happening with our pan. And uh, I have contacted the moderators, and uh, today, supposedly, they're going to be looking into the issue about why, on the phone, it doesn't um, produce the right time. Oh, we just named the, su the suit of armor George just because, you know, it felt like a George. Hello, George. Hello, comic books. Hello, TARDIS. A little bit of a nerdy corner. Oh yeah, Xeno 930, I am quite happy. Especially when I get to share my day with lovely people and show our happy little chicks. Well, uh, here we are broadcasting from uh, the east coast of the United States, 
here in the nutmeg state, state of Connecticut. You guys are all sleepy, but I love it when you guys just snuggle together like that. Well, hello again, Booty for Games YT. I'm glad it's working on your phone. Ooh, SCP Containment Breach. Interesting. Wow. I haven't heard of that game before. Is it a scary one? Oh, well, thank you. I've, I've been told at times that I have a uh, voice for radio. There we go. Ah, lovely. Well, I am now also on my computer so I can see the right time. Lovely, lovely. Well, if I had a message for the world, it would probably be... Oh, jeez, I don't know. That's quite a lot of responsibility, little chicks, isn't it? Well, I would probably say that, um, just take some time, just for yourself every day, a little bit of self-care. Find a little bit of peace, find a little bit of happy, and try to lose yourself in it for a while, because it could really make the rest of your day is so much more bearable. Oh, I love it when you guys just help clean each other like that. Oh, February Monster, congratulations on your cat. I hope it all goes quite well for you, and I hope your new feline friend is lovely. All of you guys lying next to each other. Well, when they become um, big, happy chickens, uh, they are going to be all living together in the uh, coop that we have for them um, in our backyard. And they'll have the full sort of uh, run of the roost back there. And we will still be videoing them, even as they get nice and big. Because, you know, I want to keep a record of their lives. And, um, for me, these little chicks are some of my happy places. Oh, these baby chickens are definitely cuties. Yes, every day Kagome has to preen more and more feathers. Look how many feathers that Kagome has produced over just like a couple of days on her wing. Ah! <gasps> Ooh, sand bath! I was wondering when we would see that on camera. And look, all of the others then help clean the sand off of the other chick. This is all part of their preening behave, uh, behavior, and it's just part of uh, being the same flock, as they all help out to make sure everybody is clean. Yes. You guys are all such great siblings. You are. Three different breeds all together, but you are one family. with an adoptive human chicken dad and adoptive human chicken mom. What's that? A little flutter? Lovely. Lovely. I think now 
they're sort of getting into their sleepy time as they get all sort of snuggly, which I always find lovely to see. Oh, well, thank you, yes. I'm glad that this has been able to give you a little bit of happiness and a little bit of light in your day. Yes, I have had a couple of people say that I should just try to put this on local television. I'm not sure how much people would really love it there, but, you know. I just find all of this quite relaxing and just soothing. And I'm glad to be able to share it with all of you lovely people. Oh my, lying on your sides there, side by side. You guys have gotten so big in just 12 days. I'm so proud of you all. And if you notice there, Braveheart is using Stormy as a pillow. Oh my. Stormy seems a well-sized pillow for Braveheart. Oh, yo, Yola Mola. Well... If you want to uh, do a live stream here on Reddit, one of the best things to do is first determine uh, what sort of a thing do you want to stream? Because they have uh, different subreddits for uh, different things. So you could look through the RPAN network and see what applies. And um, if you have, let's say, animals, like we have our baby chicks here, you can go to the uh, subreddit for that specific channel, like you are here. And if you go to any broadcast, uh, you can click um, while you're on your phone to the upper right hand corner to the plus symbol. And that can uh, lead you to start streaming your own content here live on Reddit. And I hope that helps you out, Yola Mola. Maybe uh, one of the YouTube videos that I will do will also be sort of a how-to to set up um, a broadcast here on Reddit. Oh, nonsense dramaturgy. That's all right. That's all right. We're, we are still here, and we are here for a little less than 20 more minutes. But we're glad to have you join us as Braveheart has just zonked out completely. Oh, Kagome, you don't need to wake up, Braveheart. Ooh, but you wanted to snuggle. Ah, <gasps> that was far too cute. That was far too cute. Braveheart, you can just use Kagome as a pillow. Kagome's okay with it. Oh, but you have all those itchy new feathers. Oh my, oh my, oh my. You're all becoming such such big chicks. Yes, you are. And for those of you who are late, uh, we already did our weigh-in for today. Um, all of our baby chicks have gained a bit of weight. Braveheart gained two grams. Kagome gained an astonishing four grams. And Stormy gained a huge four grams. So no longer can Braveheart say... That Braveheart is 10 grams more than Stormy. You guys just love cuddling. Well, that's all right. If I was a cuddly little fluff ball like you guys, I would definitely enjoy cuddling again like you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Such little itches that you got there, Kagome. You, you really want to be close to Braveheart today. I love seeing you two bond. Oh yes, the uh, all of the yogurt yesterday 
seems to have agreed with Stormy. So I think uh, maybe every other day uh, we're going to be giving Stormy some yogurt to help Stormy's growth. What do you guys think? Oh, everyone's waking up. Yes, is it time for brunch for everybody? Yes, a quick brunch. Yes, when you're a baby chick, you live multiple days throughout your day. You go through a feeding frenzy. You do a bit of running around. You get some water. And then you take a quick nap and just do it all over again. Oh, can you imagine Stormy becoming a yogurt giant? A supremely massive silky chicken, even bigger than Kagome and Braveheart? The biggest silky in the world? Fluff going out for feet? Oh my, oh my. What a glorious giant that I would love to just snuggle. Uh, Derek Docs TOD32. Um, I don't play on the PS4. I actually do have an Xbox One that I have occasionally played games on. Uh, generally speaking, I uh, tend to prefer RPGs. Um,. I'm really looking forward to the, um, oh, what's that new game coming out from CD Projekt Red? Uh, Cyberpunk 2077? Is that what it's called? Yes, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that game. Um, in the meantime, I believe because of my games on Gold, there were a few different games I could choose from. I think, uh, Greedfall might have been one of those, and I am doing a quick playthrough of that. It's an interesting story, but, um, yeah, just taking, taking my time on it. And then, of course, I am doing videos like this with the baby chicks. And then I'm doing my daily writing as well. Along with all of my other usual duties for just being a homeowner and getting things done around the house. Oh dear, oh dear. We all saw you poop there, Stormy, but that's all right. Everybody poops, and so do chicks. Yes, Kagome? Yeah? Any little happy chirps? Ooh, a little tail whack from you. So what do you guys think? Looking at Onogadori, chickens online and seeing how these tail feathers are growing, I am really thinking that Kagome might be a hen. What do you think? Do you think I'm on the right track? Oh my, hello Stormy. You want to be on camera too? You and your fuzzy little butt, but you do have a few new tiny little tail feathers. Look at those. They're very fine, they're very soft, but they are tail feathers. Such lovely chicks. Oh, well thank you, Nonsense Dramaturgy. And, uh, Derek Doxed OD32. Well, I might have to give that game a try sometime. I have quite liked uh, piloting games in the past. And hey, it is great news if um, Kagome is a hen, because that means then we won't have any issues with um, dealing with a very massive long tail. And hopefully, if I'm right, that um, only Braveheart is probably a rooster, 
Then we'll have two hens and a rooster. Two hens and a rooster would be a perfect tiny little flock. Oh my. You know what that means, everybody? That all of the baby chicks in the future will be half Ayam Samani, and then half one of these baby chicks. A half Ayam Samani? And a half Onagadori? Oh my, that would be a very striking bird. And a lovely, fuzzy black chick, probably. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But, you know, let's not count our eggs before they're even produced. Oh, taking a little nap by the water there, Kagome. That's all right, too. That's all right, too. So, ooh, ooh, a big jump there from Kagome. So again, for any of you who are, you know, just silently watching and enjoying the stream, and might not, not, not have had a chance to ask any questions. We're all he here just watching our three baby chicks go through the day. And uh, these little chickies, the striped one, is named Kagome, who is an Onagadori chicken, which is an endangered breed from Japan. We have our little Ayam Samani, which is from Southeast Asia, called Braveheart, just taking a drink over there. And then eating their fill in the corner is our gray ball of fluff, our silky named Stormy. And all of these lovely chicks are just 12 days old. And we have been watching them since the first day that they arrived to us. So they are 12 days old now. 12 days. And if any of you are interested in watching some of our previous videos to see how they looked when they were even younger, you can find them by looking at my profile and seeing the archived videos. And you can see their progression day by day as we watch on. And, uh, Within the next couple of days, we will be launching a YouTube channel where you can probably a bit slightly more easily uh, watch these videos because we are going to be um, uh, uploading these videos to YouTube. And I am going to be doing a few ASMR videos as well where I read uh, public domain uh, children's and short stories, which might be some fun as well. Oh, thank you, Derek Doxt, OD32. Glad to have your follow. And I'm glad that you found some enjoyment in these baby chicks' lives. Oh my, you are so hungry, Braveheart. Well, that's all right. You only gained two grams yesterday. You were starting to fall a bit behind. Oh my. Oh my there, Stormy. You stepped in the water. You stepped in the water, you little ball of floof. Oh yes. Braveheart is eating like there is no tomorrow right now. Listen to that tap, tap, tap. You should keep going, Braveheart. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. I guess Braveheart got a bit self-conscious when I mentioned the taps. How are you helping, Stormy? Are you helping? There you go. There you guys go. It's lovely eating with your family. A little bit more bonding time for you guys. It's 
hard to imagine that uh, you two guys in the future might actually have some baby chicks together. Ah, oh, that's a good question. These chicks are eating organic starter crumble. Complete feed for baby chicks. And uh, I kind of think the chicks that we have are um, quite a bit prettier than these ones on the bag. Not to say that they're ugly. Oh my, well, currently I am in the United States. So I think because of the COVID uh, pandemic, I am actually barred for the moment to going to Canada. But um, yeah, it would be lovely to go to Canada. Um, Lauren and I have actually gone to Canada uh, twice in the past couple of years. Um, before that, um, the only time Lauren has actually left the country was to go to the UK to visit some of my family. Um, and we went to uh, Toronto um, uh, by plane. And then um, a few months before the pandemic last year, um, we went to Montreal, which was quite a nice trip. Uh, it turns out, because of how speedy a driver I am from Connecticut, um, I managed to get from Connecticut to Montreal in just four hours. Yes, I was probably driving a bit too fast, but the roads were so open, Kagome. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Here. Here, you gave the tap-tap. Come see Dad. Oh, yes, because baby chicks need a lot of nutrients starting out. And I think that's part of the reason why our baby chicks have grown so big and are so healthy. Yes. Oh, a little bit of pets from Dad. There you go. Yeah. What? Oh, you're looking at the fake flowers. Yeah, those aren't real flowers, Kagome. Those aren't real flowers. I don't think you've actually seen any real flowers yet. Oh, that's such a shame. We'll have to introduce you to flowers soon. Yes. You need to see real flowers. Lovely little Kagome. Oh, well, Derek Doxed OD32. I hope you have good luck um, becoming a NASCAR driver. I know I have a second cousin that is um, half English and half Korean who is um, in the process of trying to become an F1 driver. And I know that can be a very, very competitive field. So good luck. And may all your races go well. Oh, you're getting sleepy there, Kagome? Yeah? Well, it's easy to become sleepy. Ooh, ooh, you heard the yummies? What? You don't need to preen, Daddy. You don't need to preen, Daddy. Daddy doesn't have wings. Daddy doesn't have wings. You don't need to preen me, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, guys, we're down to our last few minutes here. But I hope you have all had a good time. And I hope you all are going to have lovely days going forward. And that we brought a little bit of light to them. Right, Kagome? So once we are done for today, this will be archived, like uh, all of our other videos, and hopefully by tomorrow, or at latest the next day, uh, we have our new YouTube channel up and running, where we will showcase 
these older streams and maybe do a few new things too. Ah, well, good luck then, Derek. Ooh. Ah, uh, well, thank you, Am Amacy. I'm glad that you have enjoyed this stream as well. I know I certainly have. I know so has Kagome. Yes. Yes, Kagome. Watching from your little perch watching your siblings from up above and of course and i just noticed that giving me another stealth poop but not directly on me ah uh, don't worry 512 ounce um even though we only have a couple minutes left we will be seeing each other soon because i will be broadcasting tomorrow as well and even though we had four hours of broadcasting yesterday um, a shorter time helps me conserve my, uh, my voice a bit, so I can keep doing these more often. Yes, 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 Kagome. Let's go say hi to the others as we reach our last minute. Oh, lovely. You can balance on one finger. Oh, booty for games, YT. With the Platinum, 15 more minutes. Well, that's all right. That's all right. But, you know, we have a 15 more minutes now. So we can just be watching these guys for 15 more minutes. But just to let you guys know, the minute that we are uh, done with this, I'm going to be doing some uh, cleanup for our little chickies. And then I'm going to proceed to start to download some more of these streams so I can upload them to YouTube for all of your pleasures. Yes, 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 yes. You're going to be up on YouTube, Kagome. Yes. So are you, Braveheart. My lovely brave heart. And so are you, Stormy. Oh, and while I'm doing this, I will get rid of this stealth poop. There we go. There we go. And then the stealth poop is ridden. What are you looking at there in the corner? What are you looking at there? Wanna go see Dad? Wanna go see Dad? Yeah? There you go. Come see Dad, Braveheart. Come see Dad. Now one thing I've noticed out of all of them is our little Braveheart here doesn't get nearly as twitchy as some of the other chicks at first. Now, I'm not sure if that's because Braveheart has imprinted on me a little bit more strongly than some of the others, because Braveheart was the first one out of the box when we opened it up and kind of looked at me directly in the face. So Braveheart might think that um, I'm his mama, I'm not sure, but I do love Braveheart's inquisitive nature. And if you notice on Braveheart, even though Braveheart has grown quite a bit, Braveheart's breed doesn't really have these same sort of back feathers that, um, that Kagome's developing. Snuggling underneath my chin now. Oh my. Oh yes, well, Stormy, I think, is the spirit animal of quite a few people. You know? Not quite as in your face as some of the other chicks, but just really loves being with others 
and has that sort of lovely energy about her. And I cannot believe right now how snugly that Braveheart's being to me. It's hard to uh, get a picture because Braveheart is like right underneath my chin here. But, um, yeah. You're such a lovely little bird. Yep, these are the uh, first chickens that we've taken care of. Uh, we did a few months of uh, research uh, before getting the chickens. I've actually been interested in trying to get chickens for a couple of years now. And, um, you know, we took the plunge after doing all of the research, after getting all the supplies that we needed, and getting the coop and everything, and we just sort of pulled the trigger, now that um, I had a bit more time to help them grow and develop here in the first stage of their life. Uh, because of the, um, the quarantine, uh, my usual job was being a background actor. And all of the productions um, in New York City have been pretty much um, closed for the meantime. They might be starting up in the, the next couple of months, but um, I've had a lot of excess time on my hands. So, you know, we used it to um, get these little guys into our lives. And so far, it has worked out wonderfully. Yes, it has. We are so happy to have you chicks with us. Ah, well, I am a background actor. So, um, most directors and uh, production assistants would rather qualify me as a living prop. <laughs> Though um, I am actually a member of SAG-AFTRA, the Actors' Union, which ironically I joined uh, about two weeks before the pandemic began. Hooray for bad timing. Wow, that sounds lovely, Derek Doxt. I hope that all of your races in the future are safe and you take some care as you uh, learn how to be a race car driver there. No reenacting Talladega Nights. No one ever wants to be on fire. Oh, yes. Braveheart. Wanted to go back to eat. Lovely. Eat your fill. Eat your fill, Braveheart. While Kagome and Stormy have a little bit of a cuddle party. Yes, Reddit on uh, your phone is definitely a different experience than uh, on the computer. Ah, yes, invisible fire. Ooh! Ooh! My little feather went flying there. Yes? A little inquisitive peep? What is it? Yes? What do you want? Oh, food? Well, I think I have deduced what that peep meant. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not, Kagome. What was that? Are you going to try to fly out of the out of the tub again? Sometimes Kagome tries to fly out of the tub. But you're not quite big enough yet. Um, at the moment, uh, we have not needed to um I've been keeping an eye on the talents, but um 
the sand itself um, is helping keep them from really growing too much. I've noticed them um, scratching the sand at times, which I think is helping the, um, the talons keep at a manageable state. But I have been keeping a close eye on them. Oh, uh, well, Michael Green 25, you know, to me, it's the same thing if uh, 20 people are watching or 7,000 people are watching at a time. Um, sometimes we have people who are just like lurking in the background. Sometimes people just pop in for a few minutes. Um, either way, I think it's, um, it's just fine. It's a good time just to watch things go along. Okay, I could say your name, uh, Chungaloid? I believe that's how it would be pronounced. Well, XXX, Chungaloid, underscore XXX. Oh, Kagome, taking yet another nap. Oh, and preening those little back feathers. Such a pretty little chick. Hello there, Braveheart. Going for another drink? Or do you want to go snuggle with the others? It's prime snuggling time. Oh yes, wipe, the, wipe your little beak off in the sand. Oh, my 512 ounce. Well, I'll have to try that when they're a bit bigger. I guess, um, yeah, that would be a very interesting thing. And hopefully when they get bigger, they are, um, they'll become a lot more open to eating new things as well. Though I know for their sort of like little two-week birthday, we're going to try to feed them a variety of treats. Yes. That's something to look forward to. Oh, that's all right. Um, for asking for my pronouns, I am, I identify as a male. So he, him, his. Oh, well, Derek Docks, I'm sure your mother would be proud of you in your race, races. I'm sure we all would. It's always good when you go after your dreams, because, you know, if you don't try, then you don't really stand a chance. It's always good to see how far you can go. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Michael Green 25 I'm glad to have you along our, amongst our watchers. Thank you very much. I am very proud of our three little chicks. You hear that, Kagome? You hear that, Braveheart? You hear that, Stormy? You are all adorable, and I love each and every one of you. Oh, I'm going to be very nostalgic over these videos in the coming future as they get bigger. Just imagining when I could just hold them in one hand. And I think it's always good to hold these nice, lovely, warm memories to your heart. Because those are the memories that will really just keep you going through the years. Well, um, they are going to be moving out to our uh, coop in our backyard. When they get um, older, we're going to start doing that when they are about six weeks old. Oh, thank you, Booty for Games YT. I will definitely take you up on that mod offer for the uh, stories for baby chicks. And I'll see about possibly uh, penning a couple of stories for it. That would be lovely.
Isn't it? Isn't it, baby chicks? Yes. Well, guys, we've had a lot of fun today. And tomorrow will be even brighter. Yes, it will. Because we all have each other. And you guys don't need to worry, because we will be back here for you. Yes. A lovely little quiet moment as these chicks just stretch about. Oh, Kagome. Looks like you are ready just to pass out. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that's all right, Booty for Games YT. I think around now is probably a good time for me. If I could get some more stuff set up for tomorrow. And, um, yeah. Um, our chickens like to have uh, little naps throughout the day, but once we uh, turn out their light, which we do around nighttime, um, they tend to sleep for the whole night, and they do it quite nicely. Oh, booty for games. Another gold? Well, yeah, sure. Four more minutes is good. It gives us a bit of time to say... Goodbye. Oh, no worries. No worries. Oh, Kagome, I know, I know. Kagome's trying to get my attention. What is it, Kagome? Kagome, what? Yeah? What is it? Oh, well, booty for games, I think Michael Green 25. Um... Needs the link. Ah, oh, there it is. Lovely. Yes, Kagome, yes. We're going to be letting you out next while I do a little bit of cleanup to your tub. Yes. Because we all need a cleanup every once in a while, and baby chicks can be quite messy. Yes, you can. But I still love each and every one of you. Oh, what's that? Yes? So much fussing. So much fussing. Well, okay, okay, Kagome. I get the message. I get the message. There you go, my little fussy Kagome. Fussy Kagome. Oh, you had it right, Booty for Games. Uh, K-A-G-O-M-E. It's like it would be in uh, Katakana or Hiragana. So Kagome is actually three letters. Though in the end, even though I'm originally from Japan, I only ever learned katakana and hiragana. Kanji was a bit too much for me. Oh, oh my, you actually reached the top of the water dish. I have never seen Kagome look so proud of herself. Oh my, Kagome, what are you going to do now? Well, this is really an end cap to t today's stream. Well, you got there, Kagome. What are you going to do now? Do you need help from Daddy? Do you need help from Daddy? Or, do, or can you get down? Yes, this is definitely new. 
I'm thinking from the tail feathers that Kagome is probably going to be a hen at this point. Because if you look at Onagadori's and you look at the shape that these tail feathers are uh, having right now, they kind of look like a Onagadori hen rather than the rooster. Oh dear, Derek Docks. Well, I hope you are all right after being hit by that. She... Oh yeah, watching chickies fly would be good. Yep. Yeah. Well, sayonara, everyone. Uh, to, and uh, goodbye from us here at Watching Chickies. We hope to see you tomorrow, as uh, we will be broadcasting at 12 p.m. again. So goodbye from Kagome, Braveheart, and our 